Hello and welcome back to Crazy Row Studios. Today we will look at the much requested topic configuring backups for Oracle database in Networker. Networker supports a number of enterprise applications of which Oracle is one. To configure the Oracle database backups in Networker, we will be using a module called as the Networker module for database applications. Now this module supports a number of different applications and databases as well, but in this video we will be just looking at Oracle. Now to make things easier, let's break the entire process or procedure of installing, configuring and taking a backup of Oracle into six steps so that we have something to validate and then to move forward. So first we will be doing the installation of the client agent and the NMDA on the respective Oracle server. The next step is to link the library file on the client machine itself. Then get the relevant information from the DBA to complete the configuration. Make sure that the appropriate pool and devices are created. Next step would be to create the client instance with all the configuration to do a backup of the Oracle database. And then the last step is to test the backups. So let's go ahead and log into our client. So I'm on my client right now and I have uh, logged in as root. And now we will go ahead and do the installation of the client agent, the NMDA uh, module, and uh, then move on to the next step, which is to link the library file. Let's go ahead and do the installation of the agent first. And I'm pretty sure you are quite used to doing this by now. Okay, uh, the clear client was already installed on this. Let's uh, clear the screen, go back, and my installation file for NMDA is right here. So let's go ahead and do the installation of the NMDA with the same command rpm hyphen ivh minus nothing, then the installation file, and the installation is complete. Now you see that uh, there is a, a few information that have been printed out on your console and this is regarding the NMD installation as well as the configuration of the client. These steps will be performed later on in this video. Right, so the next step is to link the library file. Oracle makes backups to a media manager. For this, our man must communicate with the media management library. So Networker in this case acts as a media management layer and thus has to provide a library so that our man can interact with it to send the backup to a centralized storage. libobk.so is the media management library and we need to create a soft link for this file to the Networker media management library which is libnsraura. For this let's go into the Oracle home location which in my case is this and here I have to go into lib and here I have to first check if the NSR media management layer is created yeah the library file is created and next step is to Create a soft link for libobk.so to the media management layer library of Networker. Once this is done, let's confirm if everything is okay. And yes, it is. Now this completes our second step in the process. So next step is to get all the relevant information that you see on the screen uh, from the DBA admin. So this information might be required or is required when you do the configuration of the client. Now let's go ahead and make sure that we have all the pools and uh, devices in place which we are going to use the existing devices which is going to be the only device that we have. 
Right, this is the only device that we have and if I show you the configuration here, I already have all the workflow and the production group in place and all I have to do is create the client now. So which is the very next step in our list. So let's go ahead and create the client instance for this. We go to the protection and go to the respective group and then click on new client wizard. Let's put in the name of the Oracle server, which is Oracle one. Come click on next. So because you have installed the NMDA, you have all these applications that are supported by NMDA as I had mentioned earlier, but we will be just looking at Oracle. So there you have Oracle there, select it and click on next. This is regarding the parallelism. Click on next again, nothing under the advanced options. So a typical schedule backup. So these are these. Uh, uh, this is the different information that you uh, required from the uh, DBA admin. So I have all this information for my instance of Oracle. So let me go ahead and fill in these details. The TNS admin path. We can do this. You a app Oracle product. DB home one and uh, network and admin. Say OK. There you have it. The NS uh, NLS lang, which is the Oracle locale setting. We'll remove this. The Oracle OS user that we are going to use is Oracle and the SID is usually detected and listed and we have only one instance of Oracle running on that server. So the SID or the service Oracle instance ID is ORCL and then nothing else is required. Just click on next. Here it is going to give a summary of what exactly it's going to do and then click on create. Now we have created the client instance. Let's go ahead and look at the details for this. Let's enable diagnostic mode so that I can show you all the details here. So you have the backup config here and it has all the information regarding your Oracle database. It also has the RMAN script that will be initiated during the backup. And if in case you want to change anything, you could change here, but if in case you are not fully aware or not sure exactly about what these information or details do, or if you change them, please do not uh, remove or change any of the settings. So let's go ahead and so here, if you see, we have just one channel for backup. That means that the parallelism would be one. So let's go ahead and start this here. Start and say yes. Let's go to monitoring. Wait for, okay, the backup is started. I'm waiting for the backup to start. And there you have it. We have uh, one of the backup already completed. It's an almost an empty database, so no much data is placed in there, so the backup should be pretty quick. So as I told you, it is going to have just one stream, and if you want to increase the number of streams, you can go ahead and change the parameter under the client instance, which is in here. You can add the number of channels for allocation and deallocation. So you can go ahead and allocate another channel called CH2, CH3 and so on and so forth. And you, uh, keep in mind that whatever channels you allocate, you do have to release during the end of the backups. 
So this was how you configured a schedule backup. So I have another video coming up wherein I will be talking about how to configure a backup manually or using the configuration file and the rman script. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.